What it is, my Tino Peace and Grease here, and today we're talking MR, Mastery Rank. Now, Mastery Rank is one of those things that a lot of people tend to jump to conclusions about. They look at a player's Mastery Rank and they automatically think, oh, that player's new or good or bad or mediocre, so on and so forth. Now, if you truly want to gauge a player's skill, gaming with them is going to tell you far more than any number possibly ever could. However, if you absolutely must have a number to judge a player by, hours played is a much better alternative to MR. And there's a couple reasons for this. MR is cheesable. If a player were to purchase affinity boosters just back to back, grind through equipment as fast as they could, buying, uh, leveling, and getting rid of it, they can conceivably be just at a, literally a couple hundred hours and be within the MR 20s. Now, hours played, on the other hand, is not very cheesable. Understand with hours played, I could spend three days straight decorating my orbiter or capping video footage. None of this is going to add to hours played. The only thing that adds up to hours played is the amount of time you spend in an actual mission. So again, understand that MR is just a measurement of the amount of content a player has experienced. Nothing more, nothing less. To give you an example of hours played, I'm approaching 3,000 hours at this point, and I know players that have doubled or tripled that. So keep that type of information in mind. So how exactly does mastery rank work? Okay. Well, anytime you level weapons, for example, like primaries, secondaries, melees, arc, arc wing weapons like arc melee, arc guns, uh, oh, sentinel and moa weapons, uh, zaws, kit guns, amps, all of these things, once you level them for the first time, will give you 3000 MR. Uh, of course, though, understand that modular weapons like your amps, your kit guns, and your zaws unfortunately suffer from that atrocity known as gilding. So, unlike everything else in the history of Warframe, you're going to have to level it, gild it, and re-level it. Likewise, when you start leveling frames, uh, actual arc wings, uh, K-drives, and any of your companions for the first time, you're going to get 6,000 MR. But again, I believe K-drives still have to be gilded and re-leveled, if I recall correctly. Now... Something to keep in mind when we start talking about leveling equipment is that different versions or iterations will give you MR. So, in the case of frames, a regular frame will give you 6,000 MR, as will the Prime version. So, if you're talking about a regular Oberon, that's going to give you 6,000 MR. And Oberon Prime will give you another 6,000 MR. Same thing goes for weapons. When you start looking at wraiths and vandals, all of those are going to give you 3,000 MR. So you have the regular version, the prime version, maybe a Prisma version. All three of those will give you 3,000 MR each. Something else that I think gets overlooked quite a bit is that junctions will give you, a, I think it was 1,000 MR each. When I refer to junctions, I'm talking about, well, we'll take a look at Earth, for example. You've got the Mars junction, and you've got the Venus junction. The first time you hit those, you'll get a thousand MR each. Now, as you are gaining MR, what do you actually earn by doing so? Okay, well this is, it's pretty minute to be entirely honest with you guys. Now, you're gonna be able to hold more ribbon mods, you're gonna be able to hold more uh, void traces for refining relics, which if it wasn't broken, maybe that wouldn't matter. <laughs> hint, hint, cough, cough, DE. Uh, you're going to be able to put out more extractors. You're going to be able to gain more focus on a daily basis. You're going to be able to have more trades in a day. You're going to be able to hold more ribbon mods. Uh, you're going to be able to gain more standing for your factions like your Conclave, Syndicates, uh, Cetus, Fortuna, uh, things of that nature. Now, let's talk about MR and as you are earning it. Now, as you're earning MR, this is going to add up to your current mastery rank. So if you look at your profile, it's going to actually show you how far away you are from maxing out that mastery rank and ready to take that test. As you can see here, I'm 6,700 points away from 
my MR27 test, okay? As you are leveling and earning that MR, you're going to max that particular level and you're going to have to take a test to proceed to the next level. Now, I do highly recommend that you practice these tests beforehand. Even if someone else tells you it's easy, but just take the practice test anyway because going into it with no clue what you're going to have to actually do can actually be detrimental to you. And, and if you fail the test, you're going to have to wait a full 24 hours before you can take it again. Now, a common question I run into all the time is, okay, Peace, we're going to use MR6, for example, here. They'll say, okay, Peace, I'm at MR6. Does that mean I can't earn any more MR because I'm ready to take the test? No, you're still earning MR if you have equipment in your inventory you haven't leveled, okay? Even if you're maxed at MR6 and you need to take the test, you're still earning that MR. In fact, I had a buddy who did not like taking the MR tests, and he would actually save up several tests worth before he ever started to take the tests. So in this example, he had enough mastery rank to level up to 6, 7, and 8. He just wasn't taking the tests. So you're still earning mastery rank as long as you're still leveling equipment. No, you don't have to take the test right away. But there's a few things to keep in mind here. Whether you pass or fail a test, you still must wait 24 hours. So in this example, he would take the MR6 test, pass it, and he was ready to take the MR7 test, but he still had to wait 24 hours in order to take that MR7 test, okay? So let me show you guys really quickly how to get to all of the mastery rank tests and where to practice them. Okay, so if you go to any relay, and I'm just gonna select uh, Cooper Relay on Eris here, Keep in mind, I am on PS4, so your Cooper Relay may be elsewhere if you're on Xbox or PC. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to land on the Relay. I'm going to open my option screen. I'm going to go to Fast Travel. I'm going to select Cephalon Samaris, and that's where all the Mastery Rank tests are located. Fast travel, Cephalon Samaris, and here we are. Straight ahead, obviously, is Cephalon Samaris. To my left, this light is the simulacrum, and to my right is where all of the practice tests are. So let's say, for example, you were going to take the Mastery Rank 12 test. You can actually select practice or actually take the test here. And you can do this for every test if you've already ranked up to that level. So. Hopefully that answers everyone's questions about Mastery Rank. If you have any, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, peace and grace.